Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club. Finished a full day in the shop. However, it's come to my attention. Well, my email inbox has come to my attention. As I'm starting to get more emails regarding working with companies and paying me to basically promote certain things. And it's never really crossed my mind. I don't think I'd ever get to this position. However, I'm in this position now. And realistically, I want to ask you guys your thoughts and your processes and me working up the pros and cons of doing this going forward, as well as trying to keep the authenticity and integrity that's basically got me to this point in the first place. So that's why I'm quite <laughs> dubious about where to go because there's avenues and pathways that potentially can be opened up. However, at the same time, I don't want to put a grenade on the channel and basically sell myself out. So, let's talk about it. You know it's a serious video when he's in a swivel chair. Okay, so guys, I want to get your thoughts on the idea because in the golfing community, when YouTubers start working with other companies, it's a, a sensitive subject to say the least. Because you guys are incredibly important and I've been on this three year journey of doing YouTube. Obviously I've focused mainly into it for the last year or so. However, that being said, um, uh, I value your guys' opinions and I do feel like the honesty and transparency that I've shown throughout my journey um, has definitely helped me get to a situation where I am now. And obviously I'm not a massive golf YouTuber, however, we are starting to get a slight increase in views and subs and there are avenues and pathways that have been opened up recently because of that. And the main thing that I do want to talk about is that I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that trust that I have with you guys and that's why I think it's important for me to have this video and if honestly everyone in the comment section says Simon don't do it then I'm definitely going to take that in consideration because the last thing I want to do is lose what I've already built up in the first place. So let's talk about money because at the end of the day I'm not majorly motivated by money because I became a golf coach and if you're a golf coach you'll know how much money we all make. That being said I had the best month last month on YouTube of making a thousand pounds and that is an incredible amount of money to have and to be perfectly honest all money does for me um, is not only go provide for my young family um, but at the same time it creates freedom and it means that I'm always going to be I'm always going to be a teaching professional I'm always going to be a golf coach there's no question about that but how many hours I put towards teaching golf can be somewhat subsidized and obviously if I'm making more money from YouTube or other avenues it means that I can create more content and to be perfectly honest is the favorite bit about my job and it has become part of my job now doing these videos to entertain or educate or whatever it is um, uh, is starting to become more of my job and the more money that I get from let's say YouTube it means that I've got more time to create content and come up with ideas um, and everything else however what I did say at the start is that I don't want to lose your guys trust and um, I had a very interesting email the other day. You're probably, I'm not gonna say names, but I'm gonna obviously, um, and it's not club manufacturers, and I'm not gonna work with club manufacturers um, in terms of getting paid or sponsored by them. Not that they'd probably want me because I slag all of them off. Um, uh, but I wouldn't work with them. Actually, the only one I would work with would be Crank mainly because they specialize in long drive drivers and obviously that's a goal that I want to go down so if you're watching this crank then talk to me but that'd be the only manufacturer I work, work with and I think it's important especially not only for my channel and everything else like that but when the new M10 comes out or the new Epic Flash Super Bright um, uh, I uh, basically just get rid of the myths Yes, they're good drivers, but it's more about the fitting and obviously I'm a club fitter and that process is important compared to their technology that they say that they've got it. Um, and that's why I'd probably never take a club manufacturer contract. But back onto the topic. In terms of choosing companies that potentially want to work with me in the future, I want to get your guys' input. Is it a massive no or would you see the benefit obviously helping me out with the side of the revenue side of it to then help create content and everything else like that? Also companies that have access to things that are just generally interesting and at the end of the day me trying to come up with content ideas is half of my life like a bed at night, dinner with Mary, 
friends and family, I'm always constantly thinking ideas and there's certain companies that actually I quite like the idea of and what they're doing and it means that I've got the opportunity to work with interesting content with them. And also if they're gonna pay me to do it, then that is quite cool and I didn't think I'd ever be in this situation and it's actually down to you guys watching these videos that has put me in this situation. What I don't wanna do is get stuck to the point that I'm abusing the people that have joined and followed and commented and liked and subscribed this channel. I don't wanna just be shoving stuff down their throat in terms of selling them stuff or appear to be that person that's just selling them stuff now. Um, and I think that's really important to me. Um, so that is mainly why I'm making this video and why I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below because it is a rather sensitive subject when it comes to golf YouTubers reviewing, supporting, all that kind of stuff and being quite selective and obviously that's why I want to be open about it. Even if I was to do reviews, even to the point of um, and this potentially is on the table with club manufacturers, them sending me gear. That's a form of payment and getting it very early before anyone else is getting it. So I do reviews because if you're one of the first reviewers of a golf club, that is 50 to 100,000 views, which potentially is four to 500 pounds. So even though you're technically not getting paid by the company, the fact they're just sending you the gear, you're gonna be earning money from it. And I want that to be very open and honest. So. And then also it does show that I can't really, or you can't really then bite the hand that feeds you. And having that element of them giving you clubs early, having that trust that you can't really say how you feel. And I definitely said how I felt last year and I think that was quite apparent and I got in trouble in a lot of cases for doing that. I'm very fortunate that my boss Duncan here at Burford Golf Club with more golf um, is a very open-minded person, allows me to say the things that I say, as well as it kind of hinders the relationship with some golf club manufacturers. But to the point that I still feel a lot of them will potentially work with me, but I want to get out there that I'm still gonna say what I think. And I think that's important. And I think it's important to you guys that you know that even if I do get sent something in the post for free that's worth a lot of money and also I can potentially earn a lot of money through the review side of it because it's uploaded at 5 p.m. whatever globally and everyone else uploading them at the same time that's still say what I think and when I say something feels and looks good and I love it and I think it's the best I actually mean it and when I think it's a load of rubbish I also mean it. So obviously that's my views on the golf club manufacturer side of it, as well as product placement, the potential that I could be working with clothing companies, uh, shoe companies, and everything else like that. There's a potential for that. I'm not saying that I've got a massive amount coming through the door, but there's something that would go towards the channel. And at the end of the day, as I said, if that means that I could um, have that revenue stream to not necessarily spend as much time teaching or necessarily in the shop, um, it would be nice because it means that I'd be able to go out doors and create the content that I know I can because I've got loads of ideas. It's just time and I wanted to do loads of daily videos and I think you probably, I've never said it, you've probably seen me go for like a five day stint and you're going, oh my God, daily videos and then don't see anything for five days because it's just generally difficult to find the time to do all of this, especially this peak season. Like as a golf coach, you have to work flat out now, seven till nine every day because come November, December, you're not going to be doing that much. Oh, please leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Has it turned you off other content creators in the past because of them working or you feel like you can't trust them anymore or you feel like um, they've been bought out or do you feel like actually you can see the side of it, you can see the business side of it and um, uh, the relation that needs to be there. Because as I said, this channel is more important to me than anything. I've put so much time and effort into this channel. It's taken me a long time to get to here. Obviously I'm earning some money off the back of it and that's the last thing that I'd want to jeopardize. Working with other golf companies is brilliant, but at the same time, I would want your guys' blessing. I think that's really important to say. I think that's really important to point out um, as, yeah, I wouldn't want to gain all of that trust over the last two, three years and then just lose it very quickly just to make a bit of money. That's generally not gonna make a massive impact. 
So guys, there you have it. There's today's video. I've, as I say, got barbecue with the wife this evening. Chill on the Sunday and we're back to the grind Monday. Haven't got any junior camps um, this week. So I've got loads of video ideas to obviously push out. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Simon. I am a golf coach and I make videos in a pro shop. Um, uh, guys, I'll see you later.